Students will compare a three-dimensional model of an island to the island's topographic map so they can interpret how the patterns of the contour lines show the shape of the land. Each student will make a model of the landform. Before the lesson, prepare the materials each student will need. They will need a piece of green foam paper, red foam paper, yellow and orange, each cut to a different size, a glue stick, and a black marker. And then they'll be put into these zipper bags that are provided in the kit. And then they can be given to each student. The, the dimensions of the foam sheets that you'll have to cut are that the green one will be cut into halves, the red into thirds, the yellow into fourths, and the orange into eighths. Also, you'll see that you'll be copying uh, a page with topographic maps for each student, and that page has two maps on it. One is a topographic map cutout that the students will use when they construct their models, and the other one, it's identical, the only difference is the title, is that that's the reference page. Right? So this has to be cut in half. And then I'll set the reference page aside for using later on. Now that I have this separated, what I will do is I will cut out the first contour line. And that's going to create a template that I'll put on the green foam paper uh, when I uh, use it to cut it out. So I'll cut along the line like you see here. And what this will do is give me the template that I'll need. And now I'll place it on top of the foam paper. And then using the marker, I will trace around the edge of the foam paper. Uh, it has a chiseled tip, so I'm attempting to use the narrow end as I trace along the outside. It's okay if the piece of paper gets marked up because that's not going to be used again. So now I have the outline of the of the zero meter contour line. So now I'm going to cut out the piece. I find it more manageable to cut off these edges first so that I have a smaller piece. And then it's a little bit easier to cut around. So you would just simply cut around like so. And in the interest of time, I already have that done for this one. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, this also has some reference points that I've put on it. Uh, your students will put the reference points on the uh, foam pieces after they've done the entire map and created the model. And then this gets repeated for the other contour lines on the red piece, the yellow piece, and the orange piece. So what you end up with is these pieces like so. Now I'll retrieve my reference page and I'll put the reference page over here and now what I will do is I will use this as a, a model to be able to assemble the three-dimensional model. So what I have here is a two-dimensional model and now I'm going to create the three-dimensional model using this pattern. So I can do it like so like so, like so. Now that I have an idea about it, what the students will do is that they can take a glue stick, put it on the back of that, and glue 
each piece together. So once they have this, they have their three-dimensional landform and the two-dimensional map with these lines called contour lines. Incidentally, the students don't have to know the term contour line, although it's useful to use that in conversation, uh, to figure out the patterns.